tire pressure, improve safety and fuel economy, safety tip. Checking and maintaining proper air pressure levels in your vehicle's tires is one of the most important and easiest safety steps that you can take. Yet consider this. A recent study conducted at a major university concluded that the majority of cars are being operated with tires inflated to only 80% of capacity. So, what does this mean to you? Want to be safer? Underinflated tires make for longer stopping distances and will skid even farther on wet surfaces. Want to improve your fuel economy? Underinflated tires require your engine to run at higher RPMs, consuming extra fuel to begin moving and then maintaining your speed. This one second advantage safety tip will help you improve your safety performance and fuel economy by showing you how to keep your tires properly inflated. It's quick, it's simple, and it's the right thing to do to protect you and your wallet. Vehicle manufacturers specify the correct tire pressure for each vehicle so that the tire's traction patch is maximized for the best possible grip of the road. Under or over inflation has a major adverse effect on the size of the traction patch. This results in reduced steering and braking capabilities. Don't leave your personal safety to chance. Maximize your vehicle's performance and make sure your tires are properly inflated at all times. In regard to fuel economy, everyone is becoming more concerned about rising fuel costs. Properly inflated tires can save you a significant amount of money. A person who drives 12,000 miles yearly on underinflated tires will typically use about 144 extra gallons of gas at a cost of $400 to $600 a year. Isn't it worth spending a few minutes each month checking your tires to save this amount of money? Here's what you need to do. Check your tire's air pressure at least once a month to ensure that they are properly inflated. There are a number of reasons why tires regularly lose air pressure. For instance, tires naturally lose one PSI, that's pound per square inch, of air pressure each month due to minor leaking around the wheel or valve. And, for every 10 degree change in ambient air temperature, you can expect a 1 PSI change in air pressure. Up for increased temperatures, down for reduced temperatures. For most vehicles, the correct air pressure can be found on the tire placard located on the driver's door jamb. If it's not there, refer to the driver's manual. Check the air pressure when tires are cold, since internal pressure increases once a vehicle has been on the road for a while, but then drops when the tires cool back down. It is best to check your tire's air pressure, such as first thing in the morning, before heading out on the road to avoid inaccurate readings. If you are driving a newer vehicle equipped with a Tire Pressure Monitoring System, or TPMS, it will alert you via a message or icon on the dash when tire pressure has dropped below a predetermined level. It is important to know what that level is, as in some cases the tire could be dangerously underinflated at the moment when the warning light or message appears. The way to determine this level is to check the tire with an air pressure gauge as soon as the warning is activated. And remember, don't let technology lull you into a false sense of security. Whether you have this monitoring system or not, check your tire's air pressure at least once every month. Save money and keep yourself safe. This safety tip is part of the One Second Advantage Advanced Performance Driver Safety Training Curriculum developed by Driving Dynamics. These driver safety training principles and techniques are rooted in research which determined that 90% of all traffic accidents can be avoided when the driver has just one more second to react and knows what to do with that additional one second. Driving Dynamics. Because the road is no place for compromise.